Good morning friends, welcome back to Pannika's tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed about bitwise operators. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss about another operators in C which is special operators. So I will discuss about various special operators in detail. So I request everyone to watch the complete video. So now we have totally six special operators are there. One is pointer operators. And these two are the point operators, which is one is for the address and another one is for the pointer. And we have the member operators. Such as These two will be discussed when we are discussing about the structures. In a structure, how to access a member will be done with the help of these two operators. If you are using a pointers, then you will use this operator. If you are not using the pointers, then to access a member of a structure, you will use this dot operator. Then we have the another two operators such as comma operator and size of operator. So totally we have six operators. These two operators I will discuss when I am discussing about the pointers and these two operators I will discuss when I am discussing about the structures and these two operators I will discuss in this video because in this video something I need to discuss if I say that everything I will discuss somewhere then why should I teach this video. So in this video I will discuss about the comma operator and size of operator. So I request everyone to watch the complete video. So now coming to the comma operator, okay. The comma operator will act as a separator. This is one important point. Comma operator acts as a separator. Okay. So to make you understand, let me discuss simple example. Usually we'll write int a is equal to some 3, b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 8 like this we can define or declare the variables where comma is acting as a separator which is nothing but int a is equal to 3 int b is equal to 4 int c is equal to 8 am i right or wrong okay and even comma operator will act as a operator also to make you understand let me discuss with a simple example Comma operator will act as a separator and also will act as a operator also. To make you understand, let me give a simple example. Let's take that int value is equal to, okay. I have written x is equal to 10, y is equal to 15, then I have written x plus y then what will be the result of this value? This is one of the interesting question for the interviews. Int value is equal to x is equal to 10 comma y is equal to 15 comma x plus y. Now this comma operators are there. Then what will happen? It will execute from left to right. Okay. It will start executing from left to right. So x value is initialized to 10. Okay y value is initialized to 15 okay then x plus y 10 plus 15 is 25 then this rightmost one will be given to this value is it clear are you able to understand the rightmost expression will be given to this value so rightmost expression what is the result 25 so this value will become 25 so i hope you have understood how the comma operator works here it will start executing from left to right even in the previous example we have written int a is equal to 3 comma b in b is equal to 4 then it is nothing but first a will be initialized with the value 3 then b will be initialized with the value 4 and then c will be initialized with the value 5 so similarly here also x is initialized with 10 y is initialized with 15 and then x plus y you have the closed braces then this result will be gone to here Okay, I hope you have understood. Let me discuss another example with the comma operator. Okay, I have written a small program void main is there hash include str.h. I am not writing. You can add it when you are compiling the program. Let's take that you have written int a is equal to 
थ्री कामा सिक्स कामा नाइन ओके देन यू आर राइटिंग प्रिंट ऑफ परसेंटेज डी ए देन यू आर राइटिंग गेट सी एच एंड यू आर क्लोजिंग द मेन फंक्शन दिस इज द प्रोग्राम यू हैव रिटर्न इंट ए इज ईक्वल टू ओपन ब्रेसिस थ्री कामा सिक्स कामा नाइन क्लोज ब्रेसिस एंड एंड विथ सेमी कॉलम एंड यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट द ए वैल्यू now can you guess what is the output here lot of people will think that sir this is an error now this is not an error if this is an error and the previous one also would be an error if you have understood this one then usually you can tell the answer what i said it will start executing from left to right so 3 6 and 9 then the right most one will be given to the value so a will be initialized with a value called 9 and then the output will print it as 9 because you are printing the a value so the this program will produce an output called 9 okay is it clear now let me change little bit this program okay in place of like this if i write int a okay i have written a is equal to 3 comma 6 comma 9 and then i am trying to print the a value can you guess what is the a it will print again the a value will print it as 9 there is no difference if you write like this or write like this it will print the value 9 because it will assign the value 9 to the variable a i hope you have understood let me change little bit to this program so that you will understand the comma operator in a further way means in a better way also I have removed this braces. I have written int a is equal to three comma six comma nine, and with a semicolon. If I am printing the a value, what will be the display? Lot of people will think that sir, whether you keep braces or if you remove the braces, it will produce the value nine. No, if you are doing like that, this is a mistake because now the comma operator will act as a separator, whereas previous one it acted as an operator. now it is nothing but if you write like this it is nothing but int a is equal to 3 comma int 4 comma int 9 is it clear now tell me one thing can a variable name starts with a digit no can a variable name starts with a digit no so whether these two are valid variables 4 and 9 are the valid variables or valid identifiers no so it will give an error for you <coughs> sorry for it i hope you have understood if you write like this int a is equal to 3 comma 6 comma 9 and if you are printing the a value then it will give you the error as okay because you cannot give the variable name as 4 and 9 okay it should be 6 na sorry for it okay now let me discuss another one another one to make you understand about the comma operator in a better way i have written int a and then i have written 3 comma 6 comma 9 okay and i am printing print of percentage i am writing shortcut p of as print of okay print of a value then what will happen you can write the get ch i am just not writing to save the time okay now tell me what will be the result sir just now you have written int a is equal to 3 comma 6 comma 9 then it is giving error you are trying to cheat us here you just modified int a and then you have written a is equal to 3 comma 6 comma 9 now lot of people will think that it will give an error however it will give the output as 9 Oh, sorry. It will not give the output nine. Even I was confused. Now remember one thing: take this equal and comma operator. Among them, which has the highest precedence? Equal will have the highest precedence. I will discuss about the precedence and associated later. It will act as a is equal to three. Okay, because you have the assignment and then you have the comma operator. So it will first perform the assignment. so it will be a is equal to 3 it will display the value as 3 are you able to understand it or not so that is what the difference between 
the comma operator is acting as a separator and comma operator acting as an operator. So that's why a lot of students will confuse. Even I was confused when I was discussing with you. So lot of people will confuse with this comma operator. So I request everyone practice more examples and even don't believe what I am teaching. You just execute in your computer and see whether you are getting the correct output or not. Is it clear? So now we have discussed about the comma operator. Let me discuss about the size of operator. We have discussed about the size of operators when we are discussing about the data types. Okay, the size of operator will give you the size of the variable or the data type. Suppose if I write size of int, suppose if you are executing this one in a 16 bit compiler, then it will give you the output as 2 because the int will occupy 2 bytes in a 16 bit compiler. If you are executing the same program on a 32 bit compiler then it will produce the output as 4. So size of will tell you how much size the variable or the data type will occupy. Even we can write like this int a is equal to some 2 then size of see if you simply write size of then it will not display you should add it in print of print of percentage d size of just to make you understand I am telling. If you write size of a, now a is a variable whose data type is int. So obviously int will allocate a 2 bytes of memory if you are compiling in a 16 bit compiler that is very important. Okay, So it will give you the 2 value. If you are executing the same program on a 32 bit compiler it will give you the value 4. Okay, Are you able to understand it or not? So I hope you have understood about the comma operator and size of operator. Why I have discussed so much about the comma operator is lot of students will confuse and these kind of questions whatever the four questions I have discussed they have asked so many times in the interviews and lot of students struggle to answer. So those who have watched my video they would have understood much about the comma operator. If you understood I request you to practice them so that you will be good at C programming long ways and you can crack any interview very easily. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.